Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby What's up there family? Welcome back to another vlog. So today we're just doing an update. Basically it's day six. It's a Tuesday. Thumbs up. Dad is looking really good. Yesterday they gave a blood transfusion. Uh, that really helped the blood pressure. His blood pressure was dropping really low. And he was really lethargic. Pain is there. Uh, when he coughs it's super bad. But I think in a day or two we will get discharged. So hoping to see and wait on that. But first he needs to walk on some stairs. Uh, he needs to take a bath. He also needs to walk on his own. So I think we lost two days because he had inflammation of the heart sac the first day, which caused a lot of pain. And then yesterday was pretty bad where he was lethargic because of the blood pressure being very, very low. And today I'm not really worried. I'm really happy how he's doing. And uh, yeah, his color looks good and he's in good spirits. Okay, okay yeah. thanks, man. ਦੇਖੋ <laughs> 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 the phlegm build up right the phlegm build up also you have to expand your lungs right wheezing deep breath but it's very tough so currently usually i show up at 9 p.m and then i stay usually till 10 or 11 a.m so i do the night shift I just got used to it. I did it one night, so I'm like, I might as well uh, stay and keep doing that. Laiba, Uzair, Mom, Sana rotate through the day. It's usually Laiba, Mom, and Uzair in the day. And Sana is making food or prepping the house uh, for his arrival as well. What's up, guys? So Saba just picked us up from my mom's house. I was yeah. staying with my mom, uh, so I would get some help with Zaira because Saba's kind of... Uh, been doing the night rotation so he's not home at night and then during the day I usually end up making some food for them and then taking to the hospital so yeah it's been kind of like it, I feel like we're all in like a daze right like everybody's schedule is like totally changed yeah. but I feel we're gonna go back to our regular schedule uncle hopefully today. inshallah is gonna get dismissed today from the hospital inshallah, inshallah. I'm super excited for everyone to kind of be back home uh, we're going home now. I'm going to help Osama set up the chair. So yeah, they got a reclining be, chair, right? You be delivered today. Yeah, and so. And the bed in our room. And then, uh, yeah, I got the bed in our room. So in case uncle has to stay in our room. The, I was thinking because we only had the mattress for a long time because we couldn't decide on a bed. And I was like, you know what? Let me just get whichever bed. Uh, I was eyeing our bed. So I was like, let me just get that because it'll be easier than sitting on the floor for uncle for sure. Um, in case we decide to chill in our room, we have that option. So there's lots of options. We'll just do whatever is most convenient for uncle. However, he feels is the easiest for him. But yeah, that's basically it. So we're going to set up the chair. We're going to set up the bed. Zaya hopefully uh, will take a nap. And then I think Liva is gonna go and get some uh, like of the the walking uh, thing. Yeah, your mom's a few things. Yeah, so everybody is kind of just excited and nervous, I think, as well to bring him home because we'll Honestly, be completely I'm more excited to bring him home. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous because I'm like, you know, we have to hospital. keep looking, keep watching, make sure his blood pressure is good. Yeah, so Zara got him an Apple Watch, and the Apple Watch I'm buying a device that can. Uh, wirelessly check his blood pressure that's cool so um, the apple watch can do that or a... so the apple watch um, it says it can do that but you you can't accurately ever check blood pressure without the cuff so like in, you know the fda 
Canadian Health, whatever, they you need yeah. you need a cuff. So that's the device that's gonna measure that. But the Apple Watch is actually one of the best uh, ECGs on the market for and for your pulse as well. So it's actually really good for that. So he's getting another device that's a cuff from Amazon yeah, that's like gonna connect to bucks. the Apple Watch and that will give the right blood pressure, which is the most important. I yeah. feel and ab and it will also tell you about the abnormal uh, heart beats and rhythms okay. and stuff so it's quite good there and then plus the other stuff is just like the recliner for the incline like chilling yeah. out area basically so and, and good food i mean that's it, an exercise like you know yeah um, i uh, i was searching up food because i'm i'm kind of like a uh food fanatic and i was thinking like what what to make uncle like you know healthy food because it's super important after having like major surgery what you eat and osama and I were looking at like these articles that was saying like you know what you what you eat is so important after surgery and try to avoid outside food because it could cause infections and so home food is the best food and also not too oily food that we cook at home like try to do healthier home food not like our typical full oil fried deep fried food none of that um, so yeah that's gonna be um, one of the goals getting everybody to eat healthy <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it's a learning lesson for everyone. Honestly, he, like I don't know if you guys have experienced this. Hopefully not, but maybe some some of you have family members that have gone through this. Six days, I guess it's a uh, seventh day now. Yeah. And being in bed, uh, it just really wrecks your body. Uh, it makes you so weak. I, I was surprised to see that. Um, I did know that it does that because I used to do like um, uh, hours at a nursing home when I was in high school and uh, I saw them like become very rigid the seniors there uh, they couldn't move it was like locked literally right because and they're always just like sitting in that one position with their arms like this on the wheelchair yeah. so you know keep your body moving uh, if you can reduce your if you do smoke uh, even if that's shisha, whatever, that's gonna have an impact. And then food, it's starting even, like we consider ourselves relatively young, we're like, oh, we'll figure it out. But it's a cumulative effect over time. Yeah. So trust me, you don't wanna go through this and if you can prevent it, uh, it'll be much, much better and easier for you guys. And uh, So goal is for us to get healthier. Me first, cause I, I eat a lot of like burgers and stuff like that. I love like burgers. So and we pizza. know Osama's genetics. They have heart issues, like uncle's family, uncle's dad, uncle's brother, and now uncle. So clearly, you guys have that heart, sister. um, heart like issue and heart of gene, family. I guess. Yeah. And in my family, we have cancer. So <laughs> that's perfect. Two uh, horrible genes. Uh, I wonder yeah. which one Sarah has. So. Okay, at, at the end of the day, you leave it up to God, but you can make efforts to yeah. uh, do make healthier choices, right? Obviously, it's like um, what you do act, can activate it, and what you like if if you stay healthy and stuff. Like you know, obviously, uh, you can only do so much if it's written for look, you. Look, honestly, to it's very simple without making it overly complicated. From what I think, primary eating, and then also exercise. Yeah. If you do these two things. Like I think you're 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 pretty yeah. much set, right? And then don't do like basically abrasive things like yeah. you know like smoking will do to you or yeah. sh smoking shisha. Even if you do it, try to do it in like a like as little as possible. So you know you're kind of like maintaining maintenance of your body. Basically, yeah. you're like a you're like a machine, right? And how well oiled you are, you'll do that good later yeah. on in the future. We gotta. By the way, we gotta take our own advice first because we. <laughs> I know this is, That's why I keep this saying is it. I know a lot of people and, do, but me and Osama like having a, a conversation about shisha because yeah. it's so hard. Um, that's like our only like like really our like time pass right okay like hard day at work hard day at this like yeah let's sit yeah. down let's watch a show like if you're doing it once shisha. a month or once every two months no big deal i mm -hmm. feel right with the exercise good eating your you know your lungs are pretty strong but you know if you make it a regular thing on yeah. a weekly basis then it becomes uh, something that An definitely issue. damaging right so i wish but you yeah. guys really good health uh and we'll keep you guys up to date what's happening um papa zed is uh what? ready to yeah. be filming vlogging showing he's like really excited to come back to a regular routine and uh we'll you know. be posting uh the next vlog up just like kind of kind of getting ready the house and uh getting papa zed home hopefully inshallah today yeah, so so let's see how we'll that goes through see you guys in our next vlog peace out wait
the guy what? sees Zyra before we end this vlog. Oh. Zyra, say bye bye. Blow kissy, blow kissy. That was so cute.